My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. This is truly one of the nicest challengers I've had here in a long time. It's also loaded up with options. It's got factory air, power steering, power disc brakes. It's really exceptionally nice. If you go to volocars.com, you can study over 100 pictures. You can read all the specs. You can get the price. Not only on this car, but a few hundred collector cars we have. They're all for sale at volocars.com. If you enjoy our videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the videos come out. But right now, I'm looking forward to taking you for a spin in this 73 Dodge Challenger. Uh, first of all, it's not an RT. They have dressed it up with the power bulge hood and the stripe and the wheels and the sport mirrors and the wing. It's a handsome looking car. It's a 318 number match car loaded up with options, factory color, so much to tell you about it. Uh, I, I guess I'll just start with the outside and, and hang in there because uh, just good stuff. Beginning to end, it's going to be all good stuff on this car. Yeah, the body is absolutely straight. The doors shut real nice, which I love. All the panels are clean. It looks like it's the original panels. I was inside the trunk looking at the quarters. I don't see any splices or anything. Everything fits real nice, square and flush. Uh, the paint job has a beautiful finish. The metal flake is laid out nice and evenly. It's not cloudy or blotchy. It has a clear coat that's been polished out real slick. That is the original color. It's called dark silver metallic. The vinyl top is in excellent condition. And then all the trim is exceptionally nice. This is all bright and polished. All the glass is really nice. Windows roll up and down so smooth and easy. But all the trim is shiny. Door handles are bright. Uh, chrome sport mirrors. All this stuff is bright, not beat up. Wheel well moldings. The 15-inch rally wheels, I'm assuming they're new. They look brand new. Uh, got real nice tires on there. And up front, the bumpers re-chrome. The grill has no, no pitting. All of this is bright, shiny chrome, has the original antenna. I tell you what, the odometer shows 35,000 miles. I have nothing to back that up other than this car looks like a low mile car. It, it has all the characteristics of a low mile car. Again, usually the grill, the trim on the grill is going to be nicked and chipped and beat up. All these gaps are nice. There's no bubbles. I really didn't see a flaw anywhere. I'm sure I might have missed something, but the paint is slick. Uh, it's got the spoiler on the back. It even has the RT style exhaust, the square tips coming through the valance. Look how nice this panel is. I mean, that that's the lenses, everything. It would cost a fortune to restore this car to this condition. I think a lot of this stuff's original, just in really good shape. You know, which is representative of a low mile car. I mean, low mile cars, door shut like that. Door jams are beautiful. It still has the original sticker here with the VIN number on it. Sill plates are shiny. All the plastic, all the plastic, all the moldings, the kick panels, the center console, it's all mint. It's not scratch, it's not broken, it's not brittle. The reproduction stuff is different. It has a different texture. I can spot it right away. It's thinner. This is the original stuff, and it's mint. Under the hood is a really good running 318 two-barrel. Uh, left very much stock. Hasn't been monkeyed with. All the components, everything on the firewall, every vacuum line, the heat riser tube going off the air cleaner to the manifold, the vacuum lines to the pollution can, everything is just like it's supposed to be. It's exactly where it's supposed to be. No one has monkeyed with this. Uh, the wiper motor looks new. Actually, a lot of the components on the firewall look new. 
The air conditioning works. It's got a new dryer. Uh, it's updated to R134 Freon. Also has power steering and power disc brakes. Look at the door panel. Mint. The wood grain is mint. It's not scratched up or beat up. The seats, you can tell just by looking at them, the cushions are excellent because they're not flat. They got the nice bolsters. The upholstery is immaculate. It fits really nice. Inside the trunk compartment. Again, I looked up in here and under the mat, it looks like it's all the original metal. It's all painted this dark silver metallic. Under here is beautiful. Uh, new decal, the weather strip is excellent. The mat. Also has a brand new tire on this spare. It's got the full jack assembly in here mounted all the way all, all the way it's supposed to be. Also includes a new car cover. The steering wheel. It's not worn. It's got the little bumpies on it. I don't think someone will go out and buy a new steering wheel for this car. It's mint. The dash pad, I believe that's an original and it's mint. There's no cracks and they all crack on these cars. Carpet's probably new. But even the, the plastic on the seat hinge and on the seat belt cover, it's all mint. Yeah, back here in the engine apartment, it has the VIN number right here on the core support, which matches the number on the original fender tag, which matches the number on the cowl, which of course matches the VIN number of the car. It has the shroud, has the overflow hose. Um, the motor itself is super clean. I can see the spark plugs, they're shiny like they're new. Uh, spark plug wires, just everything is nice. Headliners mint, the dome light works. The center console's mint. If I was selling that console on eBay, I'd be calling it excellent condition. It's like, it's like new, the plastic's not worn. You open the glove box, it's like new inside there, the light works. I open the ashtray and there's the lighter and everything is just clean. All the weather strips are nice and soft. The window seals are soft. So it's just one of those really, really good cars. Yeah, the cushion feels nice. It has the full rally dash, it has the tachometer, it has a quartz movement clock, and it has an AM FM radio. The, the knobs for the air conditioning, the vents, none of the vents are broken or dirty. They're all clean. Everything in here is just so nice. I'm very enthusiastic about this car. I didn't even touch the gas pedal. Absolutely perfect. There's no belts squealing. There's no noises. It's... I turn on the radio. It works, but it's all static, which is what we get in this metal building out in the country. The shifter handle's not worn. So I have no idea if that's the actual miles, but the car sure is exceptionally clean. Underneath the car is all rock solid. The frame rails, floors, everything looks really good. When you look up at the motor, bottom of the motor is clean. The transmission's clean. It's got a nice dual exhaust system. I think the fuel tank looked like it was new. The front end's been gone through, new ball joints and you know tie rod ends, things like that have been replaced. It has gas shocks at all four corners. Nice, nice car. I'm very glad I bought it. First, I wondered, well, 318, you know, do I want that? I've got 340s, 383s here. I'm glad I bought this car because the quality is off the charts. There's nothing wrong with 318. You heard how it runs. It sounds good. It's got plenty of power for cruising. It's got nice options. If you like quality, you'll love this one. I better shut up. I've gone on long enough, but visit volocars.com. Plenty of ways to contact our staff if you have any more questions or concerns about the car, the process, the delivery, 
the financing, we can help with all of that. Sign up to our YouTube channel, and if you click on the bell icon, you'll be the first to see the next video that comes out. Thanks for watching.